Hi, I'm Christine Cumberford. I'm a leadership and culture coach at Smart Tribes Institute, and we use brain-based, neuroscience-backed, neurolinguistics-backed techniques to coach our fabulous clients and their teams. And you know, these videos are about hot topics that come up as we work with our clients. And one hot topic that I've been really noticing is how to keep everybody connected as we are feeling so disconnected right now. Because we, do you notice that when we're disconnected, we see a lot of judgment, we get a lot of increased judgment going on. When we're disconnected, uh, we don't usually collaborate so well, we compete more. So let's take a second, let's think about what is a teaming process to foster connection, foster alignment? And let's first have some presuppositions. When we say yes to what we want, we include it in our experience. So what are we saying yes to, okay? When we say no to what we don't want, we also include it in our experience because we're saying, I don't want that. And all those things that we don't want are right there in our experience, okay? The most interesting thing about hidden patterns is that they're not hidden. We all see each other's patterns. And we're going to have a certain experience until we're done having it. So I just want to do a couple of quick presuppositions before I dive in. And the most effective states for learning are curiosity and amazement. When we're curious, when we're amazed, our system feels safe and naturally opens to change and opens to new experiences and learning. So let's make sure that we're staying there. Anybody who's in pain, is causing pain, is allowing pain, is either feeling inappropriately big or inappropriately small, but they're not feeling powerful. So judgment, competition, or collaboration? Let's find out. Judgment stabilizes what we call the present state, which is the situation we don't want to have. It also <clears throat> destabilizes the person that we're judging, all right? So let's start to look at if we're destabilizing somebody that we're judging and yet we're counting on that person to help us at work or at home or in our life, what do we just do to ourselves, right? I want us to start to notice that when we judge people, we are essentially telling them that they are not good enough. If we're telling somebody that they're not good enough, how are they gonna show up? Right? So let's find out how we're judging others, how we're judging ourselves, and seek to stabilize one another. Seek to forge that win-win desired state for leaders and the leadership team. So please set your ego aside and answer the following questions. Who am I judging? What is the judgment specifically? What standard am I holding them to? Is it an appropriate standard for them? Maybe it's appropriate for you, but is it appropriate for them? Do I measure up to the standard? Who set the standard? <laughs> How does judging them make you feel? <laughs> what story are you telling yourself about the person that you're judging? Now let's use some Byron Katie. Is that story that you're telling yourself about the person that you're judging, is it true? Is it true all the time? How does that story make you feel? Turn it around. Here's an example. A client said this to me just recently. I'm changing the names. But uh, so here's a client example. Joe isn't showing up as a leader. Is that true? Yes. Is it true all the time? Well, no. How does it make you feel? Angry, superior, on some level, I want Joe to fail so I can prove that I'm right. I can feel self-righteous. So now turn that around. Well, Joe's not showing up for Joe. I'm not showing up for Joe. I'm not showing up as a leader. Isn't that interesting? Okay. If we can stop competing with each other and start collaborating with each other, we're going to have far more effective teams. After you do this process, where we actually look at, is it true? Is it true all the time? How does it make me feel? Turn it around so we can start noticing our projections. When we're judging people, we're competing with them. When we're judging people, we're projecting some of our internal stories and standards on them, which very often is not fair. 
After you do all this, it's really helpful to do an outcome frame, which I cover on uh, one of my other videos, just asking the questions, what would we like? What will having that do for us? How will we know when we have it? Uh, when, where, with whom would we, would we like it? What a value might we risk or lose? What are the next steps? So if you're having some team challenges, please use this process I mentioned, then do an outcome frame. So just to wrap it up, conflict, competition or collaboration, who are you judging? What's the judgment specifically? What standard are you holding them to? Is that even fair? How do you measure up to that standard? How does judging them make you, make you feel? What story are you telling yourself about that person? So let's start to see where we're being fair and where we're being unfair. Let's start to notice how prevalent judgment is. Let's start to notice that judgment honestly is competition. Do you really want to compete with and destabilize and tell people that they're not good enough when you're actually counting on them? It's kind of a self-destructive behavior. Think about it. All right, so I'll have the teaming process I just went through on the uh, uh, comment section below. Please tell us what your leadership and culture questions and hot topics and challenges are, and I'll address them in a future video. Thanks for joining me today.